So a really important characteristic when looking at op amps is the gain bandwidth product. The, the easiest way to find the gain bandwidth product is to find the open loop gain or the, the open loop frequency response of your of your op amp and then you locate where the gain is one and then you see what that frequency is and then you have one multiplied by that frequency as your gain bandwidth product all i did was i put a 100 mega ohm resistor in the feedback loop so having this like absurdly large resistance drops the, the current down to zero, which means that the op amp isn't going to see the effects of the feedback. So it's not gonna it's not gonna get the output fed back into uh, this inverting terminal. Uh, so basically it's the open loop configuration. So when I perform an, a dot AC analysis, I'm gonna get the open loop gain. So I'm gonna run this. All right, so here's our open loop frequency response. So we've got a gain of about 100 dBs, we've got a 3 dB point of about one kilohertz. And if we look at our zero dB or unity gain, we're looking at 10, 20, 30, 40, about 50 megahertz, uh, which is a pretty good gain bandwidth product for an audio amplifier. Uh, and so this is kind of what like you base your designs on. It tells you that, you know, if, if you do an open loop configuration, the max audio range that you're going to get uh, before the output is, is going to start attenuating is one kilohertz. So that's, that doesn't give you a lot of range. You want something where the roll off doesn't start happening until after 20 kilohertz. Because you want to make sure that this gain this top level here is constant across all of the voltages that you want so that it doesn't matter if your frequency was at 10 kilohertz or 20 kilohertz, that it's going to be amplified the same. So now let's look at the gain of 200. So if we look at a gain of 200 and we run this simulation. All right, so here we've got it going pretty um, about 20 hertz out to 20 kilohertz. So this audio range here, you know, 20 to 20 K, is all going to be amplified at the same at the same uh, gain, which is great. So we're not going to get any issues with the roll off here, and anything below 10 hertz is going to sound a little bit funny too, because each of these frequencies is going to be uh, amplified at a, at a different gain. So here you can see that even though our bandwidth has been shrunk pretty well, I mean our 3 our f 3 dB point or a point that it starts to roll off. So let's see, this is 45, so let's go down to 42. And we're already we're down to 80 kilohertz. So that's about where our frequency is rolling off. So we've only got, you know, 10 to about 80 kilohertz, but for this application, we've got a dB of 45, which is really good, so our, our gain is actually really good, and our bandwidth is just right exactly where we need it to be. If we go back to the gain of 20, and we run this simulation again, what we're looking at here is, yeah, our bandwidth has been increased quite a bit, but at the expense of the gain. I mean, our gain is almost half, which is terrible. You know, we're only getting like a 10, 20x amplification on this. We're here, we're getting, let's see, 40 deep so let's do 45 divided by 20. So yeah, we're getting almost 200 volts per volt. We're getting an amplification of almost 200 here. So this is great. This one, however, uh, we're not getting that great of an amplification. So let's see. Let's see what our gain is here. So we've got a gain of, uh, so it was 24 divided by 20. So it's about 15.8. So you can see here, even though we set it to uh, have a gain of 20, 
we're really only getting about 15, 16 volts per volt. Uh, and so that's that's how you can make sense of the gain bandwidth product is that, yeah, you might be able to get a little bit more bandwidth, but it's going to cost you the gain. Here, especially for an audio application, you can increase that gain, you know, four or five times as much, but by making sense of your bandwidth. So if, if you're doing an audio application, you don't need to have that F3 dB point pushed all the way out to a megahertz. You can just leave it at, you know, 20, 30 kilohertz, and it's going to work as you need it to. And you could, if you really needed uh, a higher gain, you could probably increase this gain if you don't need anything past, let's say, 10 kilohertz. I mean, those are such high frequencies anyway, um, that if you really just wanted that amplification, you wanted that high gain, you can lose those, those high frequency sounds. Uh, and that's how you make sense of the gain bandwidth product.